Welcome back. Let's start by taking a look at some quiz problems from previous games. And then after that, we'll play some games. So first, uh, we have two problems. These are positions in games that I've previously played. I assume my opponent analyzed these games. Otherwise, how would the site know to recommend these problems to me? I don't know. So here's a game where my opponent built this very strong castle in the corner and I was in time pressure and could not figure out what to do. So one concept, I think what I played in the game, was taking this pawn because I just couldn't figure it out. Another concept is place the bishop. But which did I actually do? I don't recall. I think taking the pawn is sensible. It's so slow, but... Well, if I do that, they can... Drop, no, they can't drop a pawn down there. Yeah, this slows down their attack. Oh, okay, so we got it wrong. This is what I actually played in the game. I still haven't learned my le Oh, yes. All right, that is a bit of a concern, isn't it? Yeah. Pardon me one second. My speakers are a bit loud. Oh, they're the normal volume. It's just this particular set of sound effects is louder than I expected. Uh, but yeah, if I retreat, this doesn't... Uh, this favors my opponent. Um, but how is it that the alternative is any better? This stops the night drop. So if I'd seen the night drop, then I would have maybe been able to find this. I don't know what you do after this move. But at least I'm not losing everything to that night drop. Uh, yeah, it's still a tough game. So that's quiz problem one of 32. And here's problem 33. In the game, I've played one of these moves. In uh, reality, I should have played the other. So let's see. Move one to consider is a lance drop right here, which is definitely what I played because I couldn't figure this out. Alternative is to take this and then after they take back, drop a silver here and kick the rook away for a free turn. Noting that they can't continue dropping around my castle while their dragon is under attack. So this is, despite being very scary, because I'm taking my only gold or silver next to my king and exchanging it off. This actually strengthens my castle because my opponent is forced to react to a silver drop here, which gives me time to drop another piece to secure this further. This might not matter so much, except that my gold and bishop already protect each other, so they'll have to take a move to run away. They can't just like threaten my gold and then take it. Uh, they run away, and then I can drop another piece to secure this. Or, if I'm feeling ambitious, uh, yeah, this is a way to go, too. Yeah, this... Okay, it's funny. Why would uh, this site recommend that silver drop? I don't know, because... Worst case, you just repeat the tactic here. Well, in this case, the gold is actually hanging. So, you're not going to repeat that. You're instead going to attack and sack, 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 and try to checkmate them. It's not so easy, but the king is what you should be aiming at. And I just missed my target that game. Anyway, that was a good warm-up. Let's proceed and play some games. Here we go. Good luck. All right. So I've been playing a lot of static rook opening games lately. Um, I don't. I know I've been putting in study at times, but I've not been doing the best at retaining that which I've studied. Probably because I need to study and then play in smooth succession without interruption. Um, so the way I've done things has not really helped advance my learning as much as it could. Um, so.
So with that in mind, all right, so here we're just going to um, start an attack right away. Um, I don't know if I should have moved the silver in front of the rook here. I'm not so clear on some of those details. Um, So I'm still fuzzy on this. Okay, they're going to attack me directly. Um, now if I push this and I push that, or is that the wrong move order? I don't know. Um, but my attack gains speed in a hurry. Um, I don't know if I need to defend something before uh, doing such a crazy attack. Let's take some time to defend, instead of doing a crazy attack like we normally do. So, we'll bring our silver up here, and bring our two gold generals around our king, building the snow roof castle through a strange move order. Um, but yeah, quick attacks in the opening seem very high risk and not necessarily high reward so if i can find some slower way um i don't know to activate my pieces maybe that's worth doing another thing i could have considered is moving the king over silver up and gold over um I don't know. So that would have been Elmo Castle had I used the gold to defend the bishop. Right now the bishop's hanging, but my opponent's not decided where their rook is going. So maybe it's still interesting. But yeah, I've stopped this bishop from easily moving through the center of the board. Um... I don't really see what they... Well, if I push this... Uh, I don't know. Maybe what I should be most concerned about is the possibility of my opponent playing opposing rook. It's hard to find good scores for their pieces since they're all jumbled like this. Like, okay, yeah, the pawns and the silver complement each other. The silver and bishop protect each other. It's not so clear where the rook is going, and the king is still in the center here. I've not chosen where my bishop goes yet. Um, part of that is I'm not sure like if I should push this and then push that. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure where their weakness is. So I'm trying to find my own strength first. Around here, I assume they're trying to figure out where they want to build a castle and how they're going to do that. I guess one idea could be moving this gold over and the king behind the gold. Um, that might be one way to try to build a castle. They might resolve to do something crazy, like bringing this knight out and using pawns and somehow attacking despite having such a curious shape. But yeah, my bishop is still unsafe, so that's not great. If I move the silver again up here, I guess, yeah, once I move the gold over, I'm protected against whatever stuff they've got there. I could consider bringing the knight out and the rook back. Um, 
Moving this knight potentially allows a bishop drop in the future. Well, our opponent's thinking. Or something came up in real life. I hope they're thinking. I hope everything's okay. But yeah, they might be considering pushing this pawn too. And if they do that, I could move up the silver, move up this gold, move up the other gold. Move the bishop down and around somehow and maybe get the king in there, but probably not put the king in there. Um, yeah, so the typical fortress shape doesn't seem to suit me well here. Well, no, I could bring the silver up, king over, bishop down, pawn up, and then attack on this line. That's possible. Another possibility is that maybe I've disconnected from the website and I just don't know it yet. That would be disappointing if I think I went on time and then actually the entire time I just somehow missed a move. That would be less than ideal. Um, but yeah, the idea with this silver up, king over, bishop down, it's slow, isn't it? Um, but it'd be to protect this point so that they can't easily invade through it. Um, I might not have such a luxury. If they push this twice and this once, they might their attack might land very quickly and I might not be able to stop it very easily. So another thing I could consider would be silver, silver, pawn up, but that seems dangerous. Yeah, no matter how I slice this, um, the silver move doesn't seem great. Like, earlier the bishop was protected. Now the knight's protected, but there's holes everywhere. And they still have this potential to attack on file 3. And on file 2. So they have a good position, but... Do they have the time to use it? Again, maybe something came up that, in real life that prevented them from continuing this game further. Um, with chess, I've sometimes had that happen where I'm playing a game and then um, doorbell rings or something like that. And what can you do? You do the best you can. So today's proverb is against the king on the first rank. Uh, use the rook on the second rank. I think we've seen another proverb about how good a rook is at defending. Um, uh, how actually you prefer to have a horse defending your castle and a dragon attacking the opponent's side of the board. Um, but here you hear that um, a rook uh, penetrating, a, uh, surrounding a king that's stuck on the first row uh, can be quite a potent shape. I suspect we might not see another move. So in retrospect, maybe bringing the knight up, pushing this pawn, etc. might have been a smarter way to proceed here. There's much to review, despite this game not having gone very far. Um, but reviewing games by stronger players is probably a better source of learning material than reviewing one's own games. One's own games.
All right. Um, well, it seems unless some miracle happens, um, you know, I wonder at what point it becomes feasible to just play for a time win. Not that I ever want to do that. Um, I say just, but at some point, there's it becomes feasible just to move the king over and over and over. Um, not that that's ever like smart, but um, it's just sad that some games can end that way. Fourteen. 13, 12, 11, 10. Well, yeah, maybe we'll face this opponent again sometime. They'll have prepared things better, and maybe I will have too. And there's the game. Next for the game. Let's play another. Good luck. Mm -hmm. And I've tried this before. There's some concerns with this, right? How does this play? Well, we're going to learn it. Oh, this seems like a complicated opening to learn on the fly, eh? Alright, well, I like this side of the fight. It looks interesting. Um... Yeah, this is not an easy one to learn on the fly. So our opponent takes our pawn here. I mean, the pawn was doomed anyway. Alright, I attack your horse again. Okay, yeah, no, this is actually more dangerous than I imagined. It's not entirely for lack of an imagination. This is just not easy. Um, hmm. All right, so let's keep going. I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. That's, I don't think that's the right way to do this. Alright, we'll defend my king this way. Oh, I missed that. That's a clever move. Um, hmm. What do I do here?
Let's not hang everything. So they can... Okay, they did not drop a silver, even though they could have. Um... Mm hmm. All right. How do they defend this? I assume they use a silver. They do. Um. Nana fun. Hmm. They have a rook in hand. All right, this looks somewhat interesting. So I'm threatening to take the silver, drop the silver here, and hopefully have some kind of an attack, but also I'm threatening to take this gold and then take this knight. Uh, if they move this silver up, I take it. If they move this gold up, I didn't think about that. Because bishop takes... Silver takes, I don't get to take two pieces. That's a problem. If they move this gold up, I don't have any way for my horse to escape. Um, Alright, so they take a knight. to take here and then take this one so yeah they have a lot of pieces but they're forced to use the bishop in defense and they might be forced to use other pieces in defense here too and then i could take this silver next um maybe it might be a waste of time to take the silver So, oh goodness, what do we do now? Here goes nothing. So this horse is blocked. The silver is hanging. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, I fight back against this rook. All right. Gofun. We'll take our chances with this one. I think they'll take this one of two different ways. But if they don't, then I can take the silver and then take the bishop. All right. So next, the bishop is on the chopping block. If king takes silver drop, actually if silver takes, no, silver takes silver drop is not great. Um, mm -hmm. They say don't run from a fork. That seems like good generic advice. 
I'm not sure how much it applies here. Okay, we're going to defend our king this way. I couldn't find a way to use the silver for an attacking piece anyway. So, um, hmm, king takes maybe? Sure. All right. That's interesting. That blocks their dragon. I mean, yeah, they could drop a gold general right next to my king, and that would be a very heavy drop. Um, hmm. If I take that, I die, right? Yeah. Well, no, not necessarily. All right, let's run. Running seems safest. That's amazing. Let's remove this. Nifun Sanjibio. Hmm. Uh, the more pieces I exchange, the more danger I'm in. Um. Nifun. Okay, we'll defend my king again. Remove this finally. Um, Ipun Sanjubio. Defend our own king. Well, that's more than a bit risky because. Uh, if they drop a silver, which is a little bit greedy, um, then my dragon is trapped. On the other hand, I could sack the dragon to start an attack, uh, which doesn't get very far. Well, I don't know. It's not so clear. No, their dragon could protect their king here. I could drop some pawns to distract it. Interesting. Interesting situation. I was debating next bishop takes pawn. That's how we got down this road. I read it. Rather, that's what started us down this path. Um. Mm 
we need this dragon removed. Dragon absolutely must go. Otherwise my attack cannot continue. Maybe I should have promoted right there. No, that doesn't work. My attack is dead in the water. Um. Hmm, what a mess. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I mean, what can I do at this point, right? I don't know. Mm. Oh, mate and one. Thanks for the game. Well played. Two down, one to go.
Good luck. What's the opponent doing? I'm going on another one of my Rook expeditions. Um... No, not like that. I want to stop this pawn from advancing. So we stop it. This is loose. Yeah, they defend this. Um, wow. Okay. That's dedication to a cause right there. I have a pawn in hand. What am I supposed to do with that? So this allows them to... Whoa. Okay. Interesting. We're going to see some tactics today.
All right, so I offer this exchange. I offer this exchange. They play the move I expected, but um, I'm not sure this produces what either of us was thinking about. So I could take this potentially. Um, now we're going to attack the castle. I just trapped my rook, but neither of us was looking for that. I was so fixated on this fork um, that I didn't realize I trapped my rook. Anyway, I get to attack freely, which should be pretty fun, right? And they even want to give me a silver. Um, all right, so I'll take the silver and then attack directly at the castle. And sure, they're collecting a ton of pieces, but um, so am I. Go home. Maybe I should have played that the previous turn. I don't know. Instead of taking this knight here. Like, as soon as I collected the pawn, I could have placed it here. That's the point I'm trying to say here. Um... Perhaps such details aren't as relevant as I thought. Um, <laughs> That's the wrong piece. I wanted to drop my knight there. Oh, well, we've made this exciting all of a sudden. <laughs> that was not the piece I intended to drop there. Okay. Well. Now we've got a game on our hands. Yeah, okay. Let's enjoy this. I was thinking, hey, after I drop this knight here, look at all the things I could continue with. Um, um, all right, let's take that. I can simply take this. And my attack is 
incredibly overwhelming. So this might not be the cleanest way to win. Um, but it does win. Threatens mate in one, but also threatens to take the lance and then drop a gold there to checkmate. Um, oh, did I have a knight drop mate? Knight drop... I don't know. Maybe. Knight drop, gold drop, gold drop. Wait, now I have one gold in hand, not two. Knight drop, gold takes, gold drop, mate in one. See, I missed mate in three there. I saw that if this horse retreats, um, that I could take it. That's why I dropped here instead of there. Um, but yeah, I missed a mate in three. So, shame on me for that. Alright. Let's actually execute this. Oh, wait. The horse covers that. Alright. Uh... Mm. I'm displeased. Alright, so this horse is a monster of a defensive piece. I need to remove it before I can start thinking about checkmating again. So it's been removed. Um... Thanks for the game. Alright, so I think we've learned something. Um, yeah, it's good to start off with the warm-ups. I seem to do better, but I only get the warm-up puzzles when I make mistakes the previous session and if the opponent analyzes the game, so... Um, I do wish the opponent the best of luck even though right now it looks like they might not be... I don't know. It's difficult to climb the rating um, ladder and all the site ranks and all that. Uh, I do wish them the best of luck as they continue playing games on the site. Um, yeah, hopefully I can continue to learn as well. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.